All right, bolt spike check. So this is a 61 All City Thunderdome. This is the, I think the 2022 model, the bright pink, bright red bling or whatever they call it. It's UCI certified and the fork also has a UCI certification. So to start off with the paint, let's start off with the frame. Man, this paint is beautiful. It's really sparkly out in the sun. It's real sparkly. It's actually, you kind of, if you can see it in the camera, you know it's like five times that. There's that pink. It's five times that out there in the street. It looks really pink. Everyone thinks it's red inside, and everyone thinks it's pink outside in the sun. All right, up top. These are the 6061 FSA bars, the round bar. Um, what are they called? They're the compact. They're the Omegas. I went, I kept the round bar instead of the, the flat bar because, uh, I was going with the round bar frame, you know, keeping everything round. Uh, we got the velvet touch bar tape, which is all right if you wear gloves, I guess. But after a while it starts getting, it's just not tacky. It's kind of, it's suede-ish. It's just not tacky. If you ride aggressive and you're sweaty, it's just not tacky. Um, the stem is a Thompson 130 by 17 degree drop. Uh, the lever, the stoker and the lever are Cane Creek. They're, uh, SCR fives. The, the brake cable is an Odyssey slick cable linear, but it's the expensive one. It's like 20 bucks. It's the black, uh, Teflon one. So then we'll go the headset still. So we went with the All City expansion plug. Uh, this hat, I put the Hell, let's see if you can get it to focus. There you go. This is the Hellraiser 70 top cap. So this is a Kang Creek headset, the tapered headset, but this is a Kang Creek uh, Hellraiser 70. And what that does is it was able to bring the stack down like another five millimeters. So the, the one that came on the bike is like five millimeters taller. This is a really tall head tube, which is, is nice. But when I do 180s and I do fakies, this head tube so tall that the front of the bike is really hard to like whip around 180 and 360. So this helps keep the bars down and that's why I run a 17 degree stem. I try to keep the front of the bike as low as possible for when I do freestyle tricks. Um, the fork on this bike is the whiskey. I did a cool job of putting the whiskey logo in the paint under the clear coat. And you can see the paint on the forks is just like the frame. It's real sparkly. Um, the hubs are formula hubs with uh, Velocity wheels. And I got the special Velocity uh, decals from Velocity that match the bike. Um, Japanese bearings, I've replaced the, the hubs. And once again, I don't ride expensive wheels. Or these are, are kind of expensive, but I don't ride tr real track wheels. I like to ride freestyle wheels because I do have Dura-Ace wheels. Look how many sets of Dura-Ace wheels I have. I can't ride those. I'll destroy those wheels doing freestyle. So I just leave them up there. They're for sale on Craigslist in uh, Orange County, California. But back to the bike. Um, up top. So the seat is just a DDK. I think it's the racing model. Um, it's just a black plain seat. Then we have a Thompson seat post. Uh, I forget what they call the seat post collar, but it's an all city collar, seat post collar. It came with the bike. Um, back here we have Dura-Ace, Dura-Ace caliper, um, Dura-Ace cog, Dura-Ace lock ring, FSA sprocket, 52-15, 3.33, something like that, it's a gear ratio. Omnium cranks, uh, MKS, GR10 pedals. I put a metal strap on the front to keep the, there's no hold down on the pedal, so I can keep the front pedal tight. And I use toe cages and uh, leather Welco straps. Those are for freestyle. I don't do clipless. I'll still beat you with my Converse on. Let's go at it. <laughs> so yeah, there's the bike check. All city. I really like this bike. This is a great bike. It real stiff, real rigid. I'm actually doing a couple things to make it even more rigid. Like I just got a masterpiece seat post, which is a 70 series aluminum. So it's lighter and it's more rigid. It's a 70 series. This is an elite. So it's 60 series. And then we're probably going to change the handlebars out. Like here, this is a seven, seven series handlebar. So it's a lot more stiff and rigid. You can feel the difference, the FSA bars. You can feel the difference between a 60 series 
and a 70 series. That's real jittery. You hit a little rock, oh man, the front end's jittery. On this handlebar, you hit a rock, it kind of takes it. So we're gonna swap those out to 70 series to bring the weight down a little bit. But yeah, we're getting there. We're getting the bike super rigid. It feels good.